Okay, just as I was about to start recording this video, I heard a goddamn rooster. You know how I feel about roosters if you've seen my previous tips, rants, whatever. Happy New Year. It is January 1st when this video is coming out, so welcome to 2021. Today's video is just going to be about staying fit while traveling, or even it can be applied to like lockdowns or quarantines, because it's, it's being creative with your workouts, basically. To start, I'm just going to put this little disclaimer in here because I'm sure you're intelligent enough to look at me and realize this girl is not a personal trainer, fitness expert, doctor, physician, dietitian. Not important. I'm a professional nothing. Welcome to my channel. My name's Devin and this is where I talk about travel, travel info, tips, and mostly just share travel videos while I'm living in Barbados on the welcome stamp visa. But today because it's January 1st, lots of people I'm sure have New Year's resolutions and goals which if you do good for you. I hate when people say New Year's resolutions never work. That's not true. Like, it's a goal. You have to make sure that your goals are smart on the smart scale. I was going to do this in a separate video, but I'm just going to do it right now. So when you make a New Year's resolution, you have to be specific. It has to be a measurable goal. It has to be attainable and achievable. It has to be relevant and it has to be time bound. That's how to make like the perfect goal. That's all I'm going to say about that. Side rant over. So these are my tips that I have just personally found through my experience have worked for me while I've been traveling. Or again, like I said, if I'm in a lockdown situation and I have to get a bit creative with what I'm doing. So my first tip is explore the area that you are living in, working in, traveling in, and explore it by foot or bike because that'll get you around. It'll get you active. It gets you seeing things on foot foot. When I was in Europe, I did a majority of the exploring on foot and we did caught one mountain bike. That was awful. I was not in shape. What was the other thing we did? Oh yeah, we did like a bike tour. Super simple examples. Or if you have your own bike or you can buy a bike for cheap wherever you are living at this moment, that's a great way to do it. You can see things closer. You can stop, look around, really appreciate things and take things in. Another tip I have is to find uh, exercise groups or classes in the area that have drop-ins. Hikes too, that's another big one. Find a hike where you kind of like, you can pay a donation and do a hike with some locals and they'll show you around. That's what my job should be when I'm back in. Canada. My third tip is be creative with your exercises. Try something new. Like the other day we went to the beach and we got a little bit and um, I surfed. I've surfed before, but it's been a while. Let me tell you though, that like 10 minutes I was surfing, very good exercise. So try something new. Try something that the locals are all about in the area that you live in. Cause why not? It gets you an exercise and it gets you experiencing new things. Another tip I have is to use stuff like YouTube or online exercise videos, workouts, whatever it may be. We've been doing P90X because you can get all the beach body programs online. One I really like too is the body project on YouTube. It's low impact, but it's really good cardio. The low impact part is especially good if you're staying at a hotel or an apartment where you want to make minimal noise. Another thing to keep in mind is Pinterest workouts. They're just really good for like body weight, especially like doing squats, push-ups, whatever. They'll like set up little sets and reps and whatever else for you. Card deck workouts. There's lots of cool ideas on Pinterest. Like at home workout is all you have to type in there and then you're, you're gold. You're good to go. Finally, this is one that I tried for the first time. I don't know if you can hear these dogs barking, but sorry i bought a set of resistance bands before we left and so they're super lightweight very mobile and easy to pack so we had five resistance bands and then five of like the loop ones came with some attachments like the ones for your hands attachments for your feet and a little thing that you put in the door so you can do like pretend pull-ups see not an expert just my lived experience because i don't even know what those things are called anyways it was only like 50 bucks which might seem like a lot but considering I pay like 80 bucks a month for my gym at home, 50 bucks for ever use. We've been using them hard for like three months now, I guess it is. We're coming up on three months on the 4th or something of January. I don't know. Um, but yeah, really good quality. So anyways, like I said, this would be a very quick video, just some tips and tricks. If you have ideas, comment below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already liked this video, if you liked it, and we'll see you next time.